Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for joining me once again. Um, the subs are slowly creeping up. Not sure if I'll meet a thousand by Christmas, but oh well, I'll try my best. Um, hope you enjoy my videos so far. So this video is really going to be sort of clarifying some things. Because I've just joined Twitter now and I just want to clarify some things to some people. Because there's still the narrative that Xbox has no games or no games coming out or they've not even confirmed any. And people are still running with a narrative that PlayStation 5 is leaps and bounds ahead. So this, re this video really is just to clarify the truth. Um, so on the sort of PlayStation 5 front, we've just had Ratchet & Clank. So uh, I'll just, let me just clarify as well. We're talking about next-gen first-party titles so these are games that are only going to be on the playstation 5 not the playstation 4 these are games that are only made by their first party studios so so far from um playstation 5 we've had ratchet and clank and i will give them returnal even though returnal released before they bought the studio um let's give them returnal why not so so far they've had returnal and um ratchet and clank release now Xbox hasn't had actually any next gen games release um, exclusively to the Xbox Series X that first party. Um, however, Xbox did say this. Xbox did, did say for the first one or two years their games will be cross gen and that's what they've been doing. So they're actually following what they said. However, PlayStation did say that their games will be releasing in 2021 and they will be exclusive to the PS5. Only not only to backtrack on that, make their games like God of War and Gran Turismo 7 also go to PS4, but they've also delayed them now to all to 2022. I think, especially God of War 2023, um, there's no way they're going to drop Horizon Zero Dawn 2, which has also just been delayed. Horizon Zero Dawn 2, um, God of War, and GT7 in 2022, they won't do that. They've just not got, well, they've not confirmed any other titles. To release outside of that box so they most likely will delay god of war to 2023 which will be a bit of a kick in the face since in 2022 they said they was going to release it in 2021 um and sort of told players to buy their console based on that um based on that statement and they've not followed through on it um it's a bit naughty because xbox did say halo was going to be delayed before the launch of the console not after it um so let me just continue it so this is about those titles next gen first party only so as i said playstation 5 is leading with Wigan returnal and ratchet and clank however they have nothing else in the pipeline to release in the foreseeable future they do have first party games but they're not next gen games i remember a while back there was a big hoo-ha about xbox not having next gen games and what's the point of owning a console owning the next gen console well, there is actually a huge point, and this is it. So this is pretty much Xbox Series S and X's first party next-gen confirmed titles. And these titles have been confirmed. Um, as I said, PlayStation 5 hasn't announced or confirmed any next-gen first party titles, titles yet, yet to release. Um, they do have some next-gen games coming out, but they're third, third party and timed exclusives and stuff like that. And unfortunately, some of them are ex owned by Xbox Studios as well. So Deathloop and Ghostwire Tokyo, both those games that are coming to PlayStation 5, because it was a deal that happened before the acquisition of um, Zenimax, are both owned by Xbox. Um, so those games will be coming to Game Pass uh, in a year's time, which is what the part of the time deal is. So, um, so let's get on to this, right? So let's just clarify. So Starfield has been confirmed to release on the 11th of the 11th 2022 so next year that was actually in the uh, launch trailer for it it had it on the little dashboard and it's just plastered everywhere so that starfield has been confirmed for next year um 11th the 11th 2022 forza motorsport now i think they're rebooting forza um i think the last one was out was forza 7 but apparently they're going to reboot the whole thing and it's just called forza motorsport now um I've got a feeling that's going to release. There's no confirmed title on this, but I think it will release in 2022. Um, people are going to say we've not seen a trailer or anything, but generally the racing games, both Forzas, do not show any detail about the races about six months prior to release. 
they've always done it with Forza Motorsports, they've always done it with Forza Horizons, and Forza Horizon 5 is just another example of that. We didn't know anything about it until recently, and the game releases, I think, in November. Um, the Forza Motorsports will be the same. I reckon we might get something at Gamescom, otherwise we won't see anything till E3 next year. Then they'll say, this is the game, and it's coming out this year, and this is it. So I've got a feeling Forza Motorsport will release in 2022. Red 4 is coming in 2022. I think that's pretty much confirmed. No actual release date, but it is set for, uh, I believe, um, quarter three or quarter four of 2022. Anyone seen that? That's sort of in the style of the same vein as stuff like, um, well, the new Back for Blood game that's coming out and sort of the Left 4 Dead kind of series and Evolve, those kind of games. Um, that looks good. Um, so that's coming out in 2022. Taking it on to 2023, I believe we'll get Hellblade 2. I think that's when that will eventually release. I'm looking to see more of that. Avowed will also release, I believe, in 2023. And State of Decay 3 as well, which I'm really hyped for because I like State of Decay 2. Um, I'm really hoping they make that a massive open world game with full-blown co-op. Because the other the co-op in the last game wasn't too good didn't work too well and I don't like the old jumping in jumping out of the cup thing I prefer full solid cup that would make the game fantastic really looking forward to that Avowed not too sure know uh, much about that but I think it might be sort of a dungeon crawler sort of the old style sort of dungeon crawling games um, so let's move on to 2024 we've got Everwild has now been confirmed I believe for 20, well not really confirmed but they said it is delayed till 2024 because they've got a new director in it's taken a whole new approach so they're pretty much revamping the game. So it's interesting to see where they're going to go with it now. So next time we see a trailer, it might be completely different, more or less, from the original trailer um, back in 2019 or 2020, I think we see. Um, so that's interesting what they're doing with that. But they have said it's delayed now to 2024. Um, Fable, I think we might see Fable in 2024 as well. I think they hold... So what you're doing here, I think they're going to release three first-party AAA titles a year I think that's their goal and they're quite capable of doing this so as I said Starfield Forza Redfall 2022 Hellblade Avowed State of Decay 3 2023 Everworld Fable and the Outer World 2 um, I reckon we'll get that in 2024 as well uh, because I don't think the games I mean we've already got the first one and I reckon those kind of games don't take too long to churn out they've probably been working on it since 2020 so by 2024, they've had four years on it, and I think by then they could possibly get that game out. Um, Elder Scrolls 6, they said it won't come out until after Fable, um, so, but I predict something like 2025. Um, Perfect Dark from Initiative, the new studio of Initiative, I reckon they really want to perfect that, and really want to make that sort of a new major franchise. So we'll have that likely in 2025 as well. What else will we have in 2025? You see, what this list doesn't include is all the other studios they have which are working on games we've not seen anything from compulsion games come out and say they're what they might work on yet um the coalition have not come out and said what they're working on yet or making this anything new and apparently they are working on something different in exile games um apparently working on a steampunk style um rpg which would be interesting uh be interesting to see something steampunky rather than cyberpunky because a lot of cyberpunk stuff released at the moment Machine Games, now I think they're the ones that could possibly work on Indiana Jones. Now we've not, other than sort of the title and it's being worked on by Machine Games, we've seen no more details about the game or if it's actually even going to be exclusive. Though they do own the studio, but I reckon the Machine Games are probably doing a deal with Disney. I think Disney owned Indiana Jones and I reckon something will come out and it very likely will be um, exclusive to the Xbox. Um, Tango Games, they made the Evil Within series. Not heard anything from them, so it'd be interesting to see what they're coming out with. And then we've got all the other Zenimax Studios. Um, so basically, I mean, they've got a massive setup now of studios, gaming studios, and they're looking to churn, just churn games out, because that's what the game, the whole theory and the whole point of Game Pass is. Just much like Netflix, you just churn out, churn out, churn out, first party, first party, because you make more money um, from your first party studios. So they completely, I mean, eventually completely dominate Game Pass with mainly their first party games and slowly wash out the uh, more of the third party games um, and keep it mainly strictly first party. Not necessarily, actually not necessarily strictly, but 
Um, stuff like what Amazon does, Disney does, and Netflix are now doing, where you get the Netflix originals. Well, they'll be mainly focusing on their own studios making their own stuff, which then gives them more revenue for themselves. So they won't have to hand out sort of money to third party studios or second party for time exclusive and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, look at this. This is a crazy lineup of studios here. Um, some of the, the best in the industry Ninja Fury, ID, um, Edge Weld, Coalition, Compulsion, Bethesda, Arcane, um, Double Fine, Playground Games. Tango, Gameworks, Alpha Dogs, Zenimax, Initiative, 343, um, Mojang, who made the Minecraft games. Um, we'll see if they make anything else. Um, Rare, in Exile, we've got, um, I can't read some of these, Machine Games, uh, Roundhouse, all the Roundhouses, all that made the pre starter games. Turn 10, Obsidian, Undead Labs. Um, and they're looking to buy more studios and all because the, at the end of the day, Game Pass is a franchise. Sorry, work keeps messaging me. Um, so, what's your thoughts on this? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, what you think of the going future of Xbox and Game Pass is because it's doing massively well. Um, they reported recent um, revenue, increasing revenue and stuff like that and it's doing really well and it's great. I'm mean, not that I care for the console sales or xbox's revenue but what i care for is the system i work on play on because at the end of the day if they're doing well they feed me well they give me sort of the fruits of their labor and that's what i'm sort of looking forward to the future i mean some of the games come dropping on there now that like sent i'm playing i um, looking forward to back for blood some of the games they're dropping on there that are coming out now are just fantastic and for just the amount i pay for a year um which me and my son get Game Pass because we've got share play, so we both get it for the same sub. So we're getting you know, two games, two two accounts, two games, everything, double up for the one price. You can't argue that. You really can't. And when people sort of bring up sales and stuff, it's absolutely irrelevant. They are making a load of money and they set themselves up. They set this up last gen Xbox and they're going forward. They're going to just start raking in as these games start dropping. I mean, think about it. These games, these big massive games and studios have not even gone to work yet. They've not even started dropping their games yet. They've not even gone to town. So um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, please sub, share and like this out. Post it on Twitter. I do have a Twitter account now. I can't remember what it is. Um, <laughs> I have to remember, keep remember, forgetting to post it. Look out for my podcast with Red Dead Panda. Um, but thank you all for watching and goodbye for now.